in the beginning, this abundant mindset, being able to see that there is, um, that there's a, that there's a communal share, that there's enough there that, and that for me is a big part of it too, is just having that abundant mindset and then being able to be flexible with myself. Maybe I usually load up my plate with salad first. I'll do like a big mountain of salad. And then I'll have almost as side portions, the things that aren't necessarily like the healthiest thing. Um, but that way I never feel deprived. I get to, you know, enjoy with my family. I get to have enough there to, you know, well, which is awesome. And you Lisa? have to model it, right? That's what being a parent oh. is. Model <laughs> I did. I had my mom promote. That was what I was trying to say is you do being able to sit with them and have them see how much fun I have with food and how much I enjoy it and how much I love to cook and be in the kitchen and them spending that time together with me. I know there's so many parents tuning in here who like kids in the kitchen. Yes, they make it more chaotic. Yes, they make it more messy. But I promise you, this is how I learned to love cooking, food, eating together. All of it was being in the kitchen with my parents. I'm trying to make that the case with my kids as well because it just, they get, get so much from seeing you and seeing what you love to do and seeing you take care, take good care of yourself and, and feed your body well. So, so that, that is sort of like the crux of it is into an even healthier place of taking good care of yourself, of prioritizing yourself, of remembering that, um, that only by, you know, putting our seatbelts on or our oxygen masks on first, can we do the same for everyone around us. So Really, really powerful conversation, Lisa. Thank you so much for your time today. We